First, thanks to Derek Martin of Real Ninja Fishing for providing me this fish to do this video. The first cut we're going to make is here on the lateral fin, cutting towards the gills and the upper portion of the collar. Next, we'll do the same thing on the other side. Now we'll make the final cut going through the spinal cord and remove the head. This next cut will place the knife inside flush against the meat and sweep around towards the anal vent. Now let me gratuitously age myself. <laughs> he said anal. Now we'll repeat that process on the opposite side. Remove the belly plate by simply cutting in front of the anal fin. Turn the fish on its back, begin cutting off the lower finlets while simultaneously removing the anal fin. Flip the fish on its belly, begin cutting off the upper finlets and running our knife underneath the dorsal fin all the way out through the fish's shoulders. Now, let's turn the fish on its side. We'll take a thin fillet knife, place it barely under the skin and work the blade all the way to the front of the shoulder. Do the same thing on the opposite side. Now, let's grab that skin flap and pull firmly to the tail, removing the hide. Do the same on the opposite side. Take the fillet knife while cutting in front of the tail tendons. Make an incision all the way around the fish flesh without cutting into the spinal cord. Here we'll make an incision with our fillet knife, making our way from the tail all the way to the shoulder of the fish, feeling that spinal cord the entire way down. And you'll do this on both sides. And yes, my smock does say China Express. Before you start asking questions, I did used to cook there. Flip the fish over. This time we'll make an incision only from the anal vent all the way down to the tail. Here we'll turn the fish on its side and we'll cut down its lateral line from the tail all the way to the shoulder which should remove the upper loin which is the prized portion of any tuna. Here we'll repeat the process on the opposite side to remove the belly loin allowing the belly loin's weight to roll towards you as you cut down the rib bones. Now we'll flip the fish, 
and we'll start the process all over again. Now that we've removed the loins and left most of the red meat on the carcass, it's time to turn this into crab bait. Now all that's left is to trim that red meat off of the loins and you're golden. Once again, I'd like to say thank you to Derek Martin at Real Ninja. That's R-E-E-L Ninja. Be sure to visit his YouTube channel and visit him on Facebook. So that's going to do it for me today, guys. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Until next time, folks. Big sticks out.